Greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome back to the Rockhaven Homestead. And I'm back from my trip, and I found that the, this had to be strung back up because the oh, cattle had gotten back in here, which that's fine, but we need to have a now a gate in here. So, what I've done, I haven't got to show you every, every single step, but what I've done is I've taken this opening here, and I have divided in half, and found that's where I want my gate. Now the gate itself is going, the gate space is going to be 16 feet, because a lot of panels and a lot of gates and things like that, and for getting vehicles in, 16 feet is a good way to, a good distance to have on each to have as an opening to allow all different sizes of vehicles in. But I also knew I didn't want it right here on the road itself. I wanted it indented, so I've indented it 20 feet. So it's indented 20 feet so that if someone pulls even straight in, they will be able to fit uh, a normal sized truck. Not necessarily a big truck, but a normal sized truck, your average sized truck. So that's the plan, and you can see I've already started, I put two posts in uh, after coming down the middle, 20 feet, measuring from each, making sure it's about 20 feet, and I've got those in, and now we're going to put up this fence. This isn't going gonna, isn't gonna to be permanent, but this is a, a necessary thing for us to be able to get in and out uh, without having to take an entire fence down. So this is going to be our template of what the eventual nice, pretty-looking opening will be. So, there we go. All right, side one done, technically, on the road. It would be the left side. Started from there because that's where the wires were already attached and left attached when we had put stuff up. So now we go to the right side. Okay, right side done. Done enough. We don't have enough string right now. Well, I don't at this particular moment have enough string to put a bottom string in. But that'll keep the cows in. They'll see it and they'll be like, oh, I'm not going to get out of that. So that's that for now. Now I've got to get a 16 foot something in there. Let's see. Okay, quick update on the right side. Papa came by and said, oh, I've got some uh, extra line. So I put a fourth line on there for that. And then I'm currently working on a somewhat uh, haphazard little gate to try and put across there until I can purchase one or make one myself that is more appropriate. This is made with some scrap. And it is not completely displeasing to my sensibilities once it's get finished, but we'll s if it turns out the way I'm thinking, but we'll see. All right. Okay, makeshift, yes. Do usable? Also, most likely, yes. So we will give it a try. We'll set it up and see how it looks. All right. There we have it. No, yeah. <laughs> if if that's not uh, redneck, I'm not quite sure what is. But you know, that's that's how it is for now. Again, like we said, this is just a template of where it's going to sit. We'll have a nicer one once I get it made, and Lord willing, it'll look real nice when we get it finished up. I want to put some some more substantial items, poles, where those. T posts are and a nice uh, looking gate and such like that. But for now, this will do fine. It will accomplish its purpose, methinks. So, hope you've enjoyed. Maybe it has given you ideas for how you can do something, something perhaps a bit more uh, substantial for your own homestead, or at least give you the uh, the. Um, encouragement that even if you don't have all that you want you can cobble together something that'll get the purpose done if you need to so anyway have a great day god bless and enjoy bye